everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, um, yeah, I'm here with another haul. Um, I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, so if you're interested in watching my haul, please stay tuned. Anyways, um, uh, I'm going to start with the things that I got from work. I got two things from work. Really kids. And um, one of my co-workers, he um, sells things like after work on the side to make um, extra money and um, he gets some from like different places I guess the gap and I don't know but anyways um, I got these pair of shoes and they wrap around are they pretty it's a nice cloth it's like a purple and yellow and white and it is a wedge it's a wedge shoe it's one of those wedgie shoes they're pretty high I'm 5'6", so with these, I look like a drag queen. I look like I'm at least 5'9", five, 5'10", five, with these on. I tower over people, but I don't care. I like them. And they're very, very comfortable. I've walked in them already, and I really they're really pretty. They're like a nice taupe color, and these are really nice. Um, you know, anything light, like a nude or taupe or, you know, neutral colors, they, long, they tend to elongate your legs. And um, I like the fact that they wrap around. And they're pretty sturdy, you know. Because um, you would think that just because they wrap around with a little cloth, they wouldn't be that sturdy. But they are. They're pretty sturdy. And the higher the front of the platform is, um, the easier it is to walk on. It's much more... Um, how can I say this? It's... It's much more, you know, it doesn't hurt as much. It's not as uncomfortable. And you're not literally on the ball of your foot. So, so yeah, so I got these. These were like 20 bucks. Not bad, right? So, I got those. So, uh, I got these. And these were 15. And they're from Gap. They're jeweled flip-flop. Um, they're ma made in Strata Shoe China. I don't know. Anyways, um, and they're from the Gap, as you can see. And they're nice, they're just cute little fawn sandals. They're pretty comfortable. They have like a pewter type of um, metal material, so they're pretty nice. I like them. What a big foot. I went to Target the other day and um, had a, a, a sale on like the shoes. They're from Morona. And um, yeah, and they have them in teal, they have them in brown, or like a bronze color and what other colors they have black and i think that was it i'm not too sure but anyways um i wanted to get the teal ones but they didn't have my size boo so i got these black ones and they're really comfortable they have a semi little heel they're flats but they have a little bit of a heel to them a little bit of a wedge heel to them and um yeah they're really nice they're they have like they're kind of i think they're made out of rubber it doesn't say, but I, yeah, they have like a kind of rubbery feel to them. Not like the jelly, jelly shoes, but they do have kind of a rubbery feel to it. So I think they're made out of rubber, but they smell kind of rubber too. Um, they're really cute, you know, for now, for the spring, now that the weather's getting better. Thank God, finally. And um, yeah, you have like little holes there. And they were originally $22.99. Sorry, I was saying it's $24.99. They were $22.99, and now they're... Eleven ninety eight. So I got them for eleven. No, not even. Hello, for eleven forty eight right there. So I went to the mall and um, I went to Aldo's. This is like actually my last stop before I left the mall. Thank God, because I would have bought more stuff. And um, I got a pair of flats. Just the regular flats. I tried them on. They're very comfortable. They're very wide. And they're very comfortable um, and I love them they're really really good and they're flexible so and then I love outdoor jewelry I mean they don't have a lot of selection but I do love their jewelry I do love their handbags I love their accessories so um, I got these these are cute they're different from um, having you know just pearls my friend to the hospital I, I tend to do this. I'm pretty bad. Um, I remember my aunt two years ago when I went to Florida. 
Um, she was at the hospital, and there was this cute gift shop. I love going to the hospital gift shops. Don't ask me why. Depends on the, the severity of the person's illness, then I just won't make a pit stop at the, you know, but um, at the store. But my aunt was in the hospital. She, um, her sugar went down, so whatever. So we went to see her, and I stopped by. I saw the, this handbag by the window, and I stopped by, and I was like, I had to get it. And my mom was like, are you ridiculous? You are ridiculous, seriously. Like, even at the hospital, when you're going to go visit somebody, you have to shop. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But um, they had this little, like, shop. And it was like a kind of, it wasn't like an outdoor shop. It was like an outdoor shop, but it was just like a little shop that was there. And, um... Yeah, in the lobby when we first went in. And I saw this, and I was like, oh, my God, this is so cute. This looks, It's a makeup bag. And I got my name, my, my initial. And um, this didn't come in it. And they gave me a card, too. Like, um, So every time I go to the hospital, I, I go to one of those their hospital gift shops, which I'm hoping not to go to a hospital, which is not for any bad reason. But anyways, um, they gave me, like, a card, like a Dwayne Reed card or something like that, but it was for their their little shop. So you get like a discount anytime you go there. Anyways, um, at Rite Aid, I purchased some things. I got the um, Voluminous Carbon Black. I got another one because I am in love. This is like one of my favorite mascaras of the moment right now. I am absolutely in love with it. So I got a backup. I got a Target. I mean Target. I got a Tide to Go. Um, I used to have one, I ran out, and I got another one, I love this. This is great to have in your purse, ladies, and in your pockets, gentlemen. Anytime you have a stain or anything, a little bit of this, it's awesome. And I'm, you know, I'm, I work with kids, so you can just imagine. I get a lot of, like, stains, or paint stains and whatnot. Um, I got another e.l.f. brush. This is the Angle Contour Brush. I got the one for the Studio line. I have the one for, um, the regular line that's a dollar, and I love that brush. And so I got another one, and this is really cute. It's really interesting because it's kind of like it's flat. I like that it's sturdy, you know what I mean? It's it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. Like, it can, I'm pretty sure that it can pack up a lot of, like, color, pick up a lot of color on it. Um, I love their Studio Line bl um, brushes. They really are good brushes for the price. Um, I got another Sony Kashuk br um, brush. I love her brushes. This one's really cute. This is like a bamboo chic flat shader brush. I saw it and I was like, I need a little shader brush. I like the feel of the brush itself. It's bamboo, so I got that. Winners. Um, I got this number seven boots from Boots. Um, I had the Milani one. I went to Dwayne Reed to get another one, and they had discontinued it. So I don't know. Um, but they had this continuing at the Dwayne Reed where I got it. So I got this one. I hope this is, will work. It's black brown, so, or should I say brown black? And it seems, it looks just like the Milani one, which is pretty cool. But I think this one's pencil. <laughs> yeah, this one's pencil, which is nice, because it'll last me longer. The other one was retractable and didn't last me that long. I had heard about the Milani liquidified metallic eyeliner i wanted to get these for the longest time and i could never find them i couldn't find them at Dwayne reed i couldn't find them at the rite aid i couldn't find them anywhere that they sold not even cvs and um they didn't have them in target and then the other day when i went i saw it i was like oh my god they have it and this was like they only had one left actually and i took the last one i wanted to get another one but they only had one left so i took it and i was like yes they had this and a silver one I didn't want the silver one. Then I got, and I had a coupon for this, and I totally forgot. I didn't know I was going to Target, so. Um, it's called a Day to Night Mascara from Rimmel. And I can't wait to use this. It has two different types of, um, I got it in number seven. Number one, sorry, double oh one. It's two different types of mascaras. Well, two different brushes. There's um, this one, which is for volume. It's a volume brush. Wow, that's a really thick brush. And then the other one is for length. And the brush, the one is thinner. So I can't. The last thing I got on Target was this Essie nail polish. 
and it's from their new collection. It's called Nice is Nice, and it's a nice lavender color. It kind of looks a little bit like um, OPI's when they had the Hong Kong collection, Lucky Lavender or something like that. Um, it looks very similar to this, but I, lo I love this color, so I can't This I got at my drugstore. It's called, it's from your... Eucerin from from Eucerin Agua for healing ointment because I think I might have eczema. I'm not too sure. I have to go to the dermatologist. I made an appointment, but I have to wait like a month to see him. Um, so they told me that this is really good. It's supposed to be an advanced therapy for dry, cracked, or irritated skin, and it's um, a healing ointment. So I have tried it on, and I haven't been getting that itchy, scratchy kind of feeling on my neck. And it doesn't look as dry. It's still discolor. Well, I've always had the discolorment on my neck, always since I was a kid, um, all my life. So yeah, I tried. You know, I purchased this. Uh, I will let you know how this works. Um, it smells like nothing really, and it feels it has a consistency of um, Vaseline. So, but I've, I heard a lot of good things about this thing for my MacBook. I didn't have, like, I haven't gotten anything to protect my MacBook. I still have it in the box. So I got myself this, which is so cute. I was going to get um a laptop that was, like, really ugly. Oh, it was just manly looking and just not pretty. And then before I went to purchase it, I saw this by the register. And I said, oh, my God. It's so kitty. I love her. So I got it. It was the same price, and I'm happy I got it. The only thing is I'm going to have to cut this to put it here in this because it's kind of thin, so it doesn't really protect the laptop that well. But I got a laptop sleeve, so I'm really happy about that. And then I got um, a camera case. Ooh, a camera case. A Hello Kitty camera case. I've been looking for something like this for the longest time. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't completely close all the way, but that's okay. I'm still going to use it. So I'm happy I got those two things from Hello Kitty because she's so pretty. Anyways, um, I went to the store. I don't know the name of it. Oh, Everyday Beauty Supply. I don't think that's really the name of it, but whatever. I like the bag. The bag is cute. And they had masks. They had a whole bunch of masks for a dollar. So I was excited to um, try these masks from my winner. Um, I got six of them, and the first one I got is a collagen essence mask. So, it's supposed to enrich moisturizing collagen ingredients, replenishes directly your skin, and it helps to increase elasticity and soften skin cells. So, I got that one. The girl looks really creepy. Um, I got a green tea one, and this is supposed to, um, ultra moisturizing function so that rough skin becomes smooth and glossy rich in cons what is it contract function liquidation strong green tea extract that one's nice too i can't wait for that one this one is red ginseng um this one sheets with abundant extract of ginseng give your skin moisture and soft it is great for your skin uh resilience and looking healthy skin by giving nutrition when when drying can't wait to try that one um this one is oh another collagen <laughs> Um, I got this one, which is a Conazyme Zyme Q10. I don't know. Um, enriching moisturizer Conazyme Q10 ingredients replenishes directly your skin, and it helps to increase elasticity and soften skin cells. Similar to the collagen, but it's not collagen; it's Conazyme. And then I got an aloe. Even though I use the aloe plant, I got an aloe which is cool and this the aloe extract forms a protective layer on sensitive skin against environmental changes and helps keeps the skin healthy and looking and elastic so this is pretty good um so yeah they were a dollar each so i got got six of them i'm happy yeah, yeah.